This will be a basic haircut using a combination of scissors and clippers. I'm just going to take a number three here, go around the back and sides of the head, create a line that's even all the way around. Use your mirror to make sure it's even. As you go around the ears, bend the ears down so you don't scratch the back with the clipper. In this part, I'm just rolling the comb towards me, lifting it, and cutting. Lift, cut. Lift, cut. And then just use your eyes, look at the, look at the hair, look for imperfections, and go back there. Take a little bit at a time. Less is more here, because you can easily go back. But if you make a big mistake, then obviously that's going to be tougher to correct. Just take your time with this technique. It's very fast and you know very efficient. It gives a really good blend. And it's basically the same thing with this too, with the scissors. Just let that short hair fall out of the back of the comb and cut and lift. And then use your mirror to make sure everything's even. And if you see anything that isn't, just go back, do a couple more. I'm shaping his haircut into a little bit of a faux hawk on top, with just a basic number three on the back and sides. my middle guideline. This will be pretty much the longest part of this haircut. Go behind the bangs so you don't cut his bangs too short. Some clients do like to keep them long so as a good practice just start behind the bangs. And just go right alongside your guideline. Try not to move too far down the side of the head. When you do it with the clipper over comb and then you did the scissor over comb, I mean, there's really not going to be that much hair to cut on top. You really save yourself a lot of time with the scissors there. Now, if your client spikes his hair up, you know, the front, usually you can go a little bit shorter with, but you got to make sure that you confirm that with them during the consultation. Same thing with the colic in the back, you know, there'll be a lot of times where you'll leave the colic a little longer because you want it to lay down. I'm just going to take a little bit of this hairline out. I have a 1 16th or a 0, or some people call it a half guard. I'm just taking a little bit out so that way when I go back through I can make his edge really clean. I got a number two and I got the taper open. Open's gonna leave the hair longer, close is gonna leave it shorter. The occipital bone's the bone that protrudes out the back of the scalp there. It's kind of a good reference point where the nape ends and just kind of want to scoop out. I used a three with a two open. I really won't make much of a line as I step down carefully. At this point, I just used a, a closed taper to make a little line on the very bottom. I can get started with it. I'm going to take a one and a half with an open taper, step down to a one, just go just underneath where you were. If their neckline grows a bunch of different ways, then move the clipper to accommodate that. Sometimes you gotta hold it upside down, sideways, left, right. And then if you have to, you can step down to a zero or your half guard again. Hit it with it open a little bit. Hit it with a close just underneath that.
then take the clip off completely, open the taper, just go over where you made that first line, and then you can close it sometimes halfway, whatever you got to do to make that line go out, just use your mirror a lot and make sure you're on track. Try not to make no lines in the middle, you know, just make two nice lines into the back so they line up cleanly. That way you can get a really clean looking taper. If you want to make a nice clean edge anywhere you about to start edging. If you take a clipper and fade that area down just a little bit, I'm going to do it with some trimmer over comb there around the edge, but if you just fade that edge down a little bit, you'll save yourself a little bit of time with all these little hairs that you'll have to clean up. I like to taper the hair around the ear here just a little bit, especially if I did it with like a number three, it can get a little bushy down there by the ear so it's nice if you blend that out. You can do this a lot of different ways, I'm just doing it with the trimmer, but you could put a number two guard on there, you could put a number one on, I'll show you in a different video. I'm just going to use a little water, push it back and get it out of my way. could use gel for this too. I like to start in the middle. Use your mirror and make sure you're on track. Work your way out to the corners. If you notice that the decline has a really, like a side that's really high, <clears throat> go to the low side and adjust that first and then go back to the high side. Never start at the high side.